Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 81. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Mass Mode option and how to use the Delete function in combination with that. Uh, for this particular tutorial, if you have version 8 Premium or version 7 Premium of Xara Web Designer, you should be able to follow right along with this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is go to the upper right hand corner of your screen to the Designs Gallery. Go ahead and lock that panel. And once you lock that panel, let's go ahead and click on the Page and Elements folder, and then go to the Photos folder, and then you're going to look for the Landscape Photos folder. I already have mine open, so that's why you can already see photos here. But once you find, find the Landscape Photos folder, go ahead and pick a photo that you want and drag it to your workspace. In my case, I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the page and drag in the dog picture. And once you're done, go ahead and close out the Designs Gallery. And I'm going to resize my image here in my workspace to be a little bit bigger. And once you have it to the size that you want, let's go ahead and go to our toolbar and look for the mass mode option, which is this last option here. Go ahead and left click on that. And you'll notice that once you click that option, your full screen is covered with this pink overlay. And basically what that pink overlay is saying is that anything that is within this pink area is not going to be affected by our operations, which in this case we're going to do a delete operation. So right now, because we don't have anything in our workspace drawn, um, nothing will be affected. But let's go ahead and, and move to the next step in processing deleting in mass uh, using the delete, the delete operation. So go to your toolbar and go to your quick shapes. In this case, I'm going to select the ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a circle or an ellipse over the dog's face. And you'll notice that when I draw that circle, it opens up part of the photo. We can now see part of the photo, but the other areas of our workspace is still covered with pink. And basically what that is saying is that the dog's face and the background that we can see partially within this circle will be affected by our operations, but the pink area you know, surrounding the other parts of the photo will not be affected. So let's go ahead and, and move to the next step. Let's go ahead and go to Edit in our menu here, and then let's go to Mask Delete. And you'll get a prompt that comes up that says, you have a mask covering some objects. Do you want to delete the mask or the visible object? In this case, we want to delete the visible object. So it will be this first option here that says Delete Objects. And what that's basically going to do is it's going to delete any part of this photo that's visible. In this case, part of the dog's face and part of the background. The other parts of the mask, this pink area, will not be affected. So go ahead and hit Delete Objects to see what will happen. When you hit Delete, you see that the other parts of the photo remain intact. But the part that we could see is now gone. It's deleted. And if you select your selection tool and move this photo around, you'll see that it cut out that part of this photo. But let's go ahead and undo that. Let's go to the Undo Options up here and undo until we get back to where we started, where we can see part of the dog's face and part of the background. And this time, let's go ahead and go to our toolbar, and we're going to invert the mask. That's going to reverse the pink area. So when you hit invert, now the dog's face and part of the background is going to be protected, because remember, the pink area of the mask is the protected area. The background part of this photo is going to be completely delete it when we do the delete mask this time. So let's go ahead and go to edit, mask delete, delete, and we're going to hit delete objects like before. And you'll see that the background part of the photo is removed and we're only left with this circle with the dog's face. And there is one other thing I want to show you. If you go to your field tool and select the field tool, you'll be able to adjust where this dog is positioned at within that mask that we just created. And you can also increase the size or decrease the size of the image within this mask, depending on the desired effect that you want. Another thing I want to show you that I didn't mention that I'm going to cover in this tutorial is the feathering tool. And if you go up to the top part of your screen here, and you can go you can go to this option that says none, and when you change this, it's going to change the feathering on this image. And I'll show you this maybe in another another tutorial if you want to learn more about this tool. But it basically what it does is it feathers your, your images 
or objects. It kind of gives it this faded look or this dreamy kind of effect on your um, images. So you can kind of play around with that tool and see what you can get it to look like or not play with it if you don't want to. It's kind of up to you, but I hope this tutorial was helpful in showing you how to delete a mask using the mask mode uh, options in your uh, toolbar. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, embed, or share our video if you think it was helpful. And I hope that you stay tuned for future videos.